when you're doing kinesio tape, what you want to do is uh, you get the basically the blocks. You, you measure how much the person needs. So in this case, we're doing the wrist. There's a lot of swelling in the wrist here from a, from a fracture. And so, and so there's limited mobility. Go ahead and try moving it from side to side. I mean, there's, she has hardly any mobility because of the whole inflammation track right here. So I'm gonna actually surround it because the inflammation is all the way around. I'm gonna just put it one here, one here, one here, and one here with the full, uh, I think this is a two inch tape, okay? So I estimate it because when you, when you take out a tape, when you cut it, you're gonna stretch it. So always a stretch. And in this particular type of, of um, of protocol, the stretch is what gives it the pull, and the pull is what causes the fluid to dump out and, and reduce its swelling. And so, uh, if you're going to do uh, uh, like one that you need to do this long, this the original tape was actually about like this long because I stretched it out. So, the, the more the stretch, the more the pull, and it'll actually sometimes have a better draining effect. So, I would stretch it at least in your situation 20 to 30 percent. You can actually stretch it to 50, and I'll show you what I mean by that. So if you're gonna stretch it at 50% and it's gonna be this long, you actually probably need to cut it like maybe about this 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 short, or maybe this short right here. It's just it's an approximation. But in this just so I'm gonna cut it about in this case uh, two and a half blocks. Okay, and you'll see that it starts off. Okay, so we're gonna go like this right over the that. And typically this won't be over, so I want it directly usually over skin. So it doesn't stick as good when you have this but this is for demonstration purposes only, okay? So I'm gonna, for this, you always want the ends not to have any stretch at all. So when you tear it, you tear it, you know, about half an inch, okay? That's gonna be your anchor point. So again, there's no tape, usually, but, so I'm gonna tape it like that directly. So what you wanna do is you wanna rub it away, because if you rub it this way, you can start peeling, and once you get your oils on there, it doesn't stick as good. Heat, when I rub it, it makes it stick better. So now you've got an anchor point, and when I lift, it shouldn't lift off. If it lifts off, that means there's too much oil in the skin. And I only use this brand, this is the original Kinesio tape, because it works the best I've tried other brands. So now you start peeling off, and you grab the other end, and you stretch it about 30%. Okay, this is like a full stretch right there. That's 100% stretch, that's 50% stretch. It's about 30, so maybe 30 to 50, about right there. See how it stretches out from here to here. So now, this is really important. You want them to go away from the stretch, so bend their elbow, whatever joint away from the stretch, and you, now you tape it down right here on the skin and start rubbing. Now there's no stretch on the last part here, okay? Okay, and then you go like this, and then just basically let it down. Now you got a tape on that side. Okay, and then you do this the same thing on this one. You start up here. You know what? I did this wrong, actually. I apologize. You have to need to start up here. You have to start up here and go down. Why? So, because the direction of flow is going to pull it from the direction that you start. So this is going to actually pull tissue towards this way. Mm -hmm. I started up here. It's going to go the opposite direction. It's going to actually could make it... It could actually... Be bad. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna take it off. Okay. But that, I gave it the demonstration at least yeah. so you can see how to do it. Okay. So that's how you do it. Now when you do this one, you do the same thing. You start here. So you start here. You pull this way. And you, I actually, you want it to cover probably a little bit of the wrist right here, because the damage was done right here. So you want to go over that point, wherever it's swollen. You want to cover it. And then in this case, you want to bend it away. So bend it this way. Bend it this way. This. This way. That's it. Want, and it's hard, it's hard to do it that way, but mm -hmm. bend as best as you can in that direction and then pull it this way and then tape it and anchor it down that way. Okay, just do it the reverse of the video. Okay. Okay, that's for inflammation.